So I have this drag and drop form right here that makes post requests to this media endpoint. But currently we are not doing anything, it's just an empty function. So let's make it work. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a media model and a migration for it. So I'll do php artisan, make model, media, and then dash m to create the migration. Now let's open the migration and add the following columns. We'll have a name, which will be a string, a file name, which will also be a string, mime type, size, which will be an integer, and let's say an unsigned big integer for the author ID. This will be the user that uploaded the file. And let's also set up a foreign key. We'll do table, foreign, author ID, references, ID on the user's table. Next up, I will refresh the migration. So I'll do PHP artisan, migrate fresh seed, and set guarded to an empty array on the media model. Now let's go back to our route and add some validation. It says here that the maximum upload file size is 512 megabytes. So let's go ahead and add it. We'll do file first because the file parameter needs to be a file and then max 512 and three zeros because the size is expressed in kilobytes. Now for the validation error message, we'd like that size to be expressed in megabytes and we can override that by passing a second array to the validate function and say max file cannot be larger than 512 megabytes. Moving on, let's grab the file from the request and we can do that with request file and pass the name of the parameter. In our case, it's also file and create the media record in the database. We'll do media, create, and then name will be file, get client original name, file name will have the same value, mime type will be file, get mime type, size will be file, get size, and the author ID will be the currently authenticated user. So auth ID. Now, before we store the file on disk, we need to come up with a directory structure. The one I like to use is media slash year slash month slash day and slash the ID of the model. To build this, we can do directory equals media and then we'll grab the created that of the media model and format it using y for the year, m for the month, and d for the day. Then we'll have slash media id. And this will be our directory. Now to store the file on disk, we can do file store as, and we'll need to pass in the directory the file name, which will be media file name, and the disk, which will be the public disk. Let's try it out. I'll drop a file and check my storage app public. And here it is, media, the year, month, day, and the ID. And here is the file. It would be nice to see a preview of the uploaded file like a little thumbnail. So let's return the URL in our endpoint. We'll go here and say return, and we'll return the ID, which will be media ID, and preview URL. To construct this, we can do URL storage slash directory slash file name. Before we even try this, let's make sure we have a symlink to our storage. And we can do that with php artisan storage link. 
Now let's close this and go to our create media component and scroll down here where we need to add preview URL no and the ID and here when the request is successful we will receive data and we can do media.id equals data.id and media preview URL. To display the preview URL, we can go in our loop here and let's wrap it in a div, give it a width and a height and a background because the image will take a while to load. So this will serve as a placeholder. And here we can do image source equals item dot preview URL. And let's give this a full height and a full width, make it rounded. And for the alt, we can do item dot file dot name. Let's refresh the page and give it a go. Let's align this items and we can do that by removing justify between adding some spacing so we'll do spacex2 and we'll make this flex1 so it pushes the rest of the elements to the right so let's grab the file again and here it is looks nice now let's create a media controller to move all this in a dedicated action. We'll do PHP artisan make controller media controller. And we'll say public function store. We'll grab all this. And here we'll have media controller store. Let's import the controller and paste this in. Import the media model and make sure everything still works and it does. Now let's see what happens if we drop a different kind of file. The preview thumbnail is broken because, well, the file is no longer an image. Let's make it work so our preview can return images representing different kind of files. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a preview URL accessor on the media model. So I'll grab this part and replace it with media preview URL. Then on the media model, we'll do public function get preview URL attribute. And this is how you define an accessor return URL storage, the directory, which we'll need to grab from here. And we'll have to replace media with this. Now, if I go into browser and try again, it should still work and it does. Inside this preview URL accessor, we can set up a collection that will serve as definition for different kind of MIME types and then use it to return the correct preview URL. Here's what I mean. We'll have URLs equals collect and we'll pass in an array. And here we'll have, for example, image, MIMES, and here we'll have all the MIME types associated with the image kind of file. For example, image slash JPEG or image slash PNG. And as the preview URL, we'll have what we already defined here. But that's for the image kind of file. If we have an audio file, we'll accept these MIME types which will be audio, MPEG, or audio, 
wave, for example. But the preview URL will be a link to an asset we have in our public directory. So we'll do asset images slash file type audio dot svg. And these are just a couple of files I have in my public directory. So I have a file type for archive, audio document, other and video. So what this will be is an entire collection of such type definitions, let's call them. So I'll paste in the full list. And here it is. We have the image, the audio, video, document, and archive. To find the correct file type, we can do URLs first, and we'll pass in a function that will receive the item in the collection and return the one where in array this MIME type, so the MIME type of the current media file matches the ones found in item MIMES. Finally, here, instead of returning the image preview, we'll do file type of preview URL, but just in case we don't find the correct file type, we can set a default. And we'll do images slash file type other.svg. And now if I go in the browser, refresh, and upload different kind of files, here they are. Well, except for the mp3, because, well, Something is wrong, mp3, file type, video, file type, audio. What's wrong here? Oh, there isn't enough space. Hmm. To fix this, we can go here and say flex shrink zero, and this will prevent the element from shrinking. Let's give it another go. And here it is. But now this is broken, so let's do truncate. And there it is.